Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2. There were a couple things here and there about the Nintendo Switch 2 that happened in the past couple of days, and also an update on some past Nintendo Switch 2 information from an accessory manufacturer. If you want to be kept up on the latest Nintendo Switch 2 topics, rumors, leaks, and all that great stuff, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's get to it. <laughs> So I think everyone can agree that Nintendo has been pretty quiet this past couple months. One thing that always confused me ever since September is that we didn't get that September Nintendo Direct and Nintendo hasn't revealed the Nintendo Switch 2 at all. While we do still have a couple games like Mario & Luigi Brothership which is reviewing pretty fantastic and I can't wait to play that. We also have the Donkey Kong Remaster that's coming from the 3DS if I recall. And then there's third party games in between as well. We don't really have too much of an idea on the future of the Nintendo Switch. It's a pretty big mystery. Aside from from us knowing that the Nintendo Switch 2 is supposed to be revealed by the end of March, we don't really know anything on the Nintendo Switch 2, and even Nintendo's plans right down to new games. So all we have is rumors on the Nintendo Switch 2 to talk about, and this is what Go Nintendo has to say on those. While Switch successor rumors have been flying around for a while, things have certainly started to heat up in recent weeks. Looks like that trend's set to continue, as today brings another wave of juicy speculation. This time around, the supposed information comes to us from outlet Vandal, who spoke with Ruben Mercedo, CEO of the accessory peripheral company, Blade. We're not sure why, but Mercedo has been more willing to share some more insight on the Switch successor, which he supposedly is quite familiar with due to the nature of his business. So that is one thing to keep in mind, this information comes from someone who supposedly has access to the Nintendo Switch 2, and he's an accessory manufacturer, which that would make a lot of sense, because <laughs> you need the Nintendo Switch 2 to make accessories, or at least some kind of idea on what you need to do to get those accessories to fit and work with your Nintendo Switch 2. So it makes a lot of sense on why he would have information on. Here's the details Mercedo was willing to part with. Again, please don't take any of this as confirmed as nothing is official until Nintendo says so. Also, please note that these details are from Mercedo's supposed interactions with other manufacturers, along with their speculation. With that said, here are the details that drop. The first bullet point says the Switch successor is complete. Mercedo has had access to the near final version of the hardware. The Switch successor will launch sometime around March or April 2025. So those are the first three bullet points. Now, that does line up with what we've heard in the past. March or April is about the launch time of the Nintendo Switch 2, according to rumors and other insiders. Though, I do have to be honest, I'm still kind of locked in the reveal being in March, and then they're later release it around July or June. Sometime before that June Nintendo Direct. I think that's what they're going to do, and then they have a good setup for holiday season 2025. But I could be wrong on that. I mean, someone who has access to the Nintendo Switch 2, if they actually do, we don't know if it's true or not, would have more information more insight than just some random guy on the internet, right? But anyways, let's continue. The Switch successor uses magnetic Joy-Cons with a locking system to keep them secure. The Joy-Con thumbsticks will be considerably different from the current design. And that's one thing I actually do want from the new Joy-Cons. I do want them to be different than the Nintendo Switch one. I want this system to feel like it's a little bit different from the original Nintendo Switch. Still overall the same, but just enough difference that makes it feel like a new system, you know what I mean? And if this Nintendo Switch rumor is right, then that that is exactly what we're going to be getting, which is really great. But anyways, continuing. Nintendo will do a simultaneous worldwide launch of the Switch successor. The price should be somewhere between 400 euros and 500 euros. Now that was the past information and we now have a new update that gives us more information from the same exact source and this is what that new update is about. This is what Go Nintendo had to say. Update. The exact same outlet and source mentioned above are back at it again with more Switch successor rumors. Here's the tidbits that we shared this time, or that were shared this time. The system will use analog joysticks. Now if you pair that with the new Joy-Cons, I'm hoping that this fixes the Joy-Con drift. That's one of the big problems with the current Joy-Cons and a lot of people just don't like about the Joy-Cons is the Joy-Con drift. I mean you guys in the comment section, I'm sure you guys have had your share of fair problems with Joy-Con drift. So if these new Joy-Cons that they're making, which it sounds like the description of the new Joy-Cons, I don't know why I keep saying Joy-Cons. But anyways, it sounds like that's exactly what they're going to be doing, hopefully anyways. Moving on to the next bullet point, it says it will be larger than the Switch OLED. Now this is something we actually do have some idea on what that's going to look like. Potentially anyways, that image could have always been fake. But if you guys remember, there was someone who had the CAD images that were supposedly leaked and a YouTuber actually 3D printed a model of the Nintendo Switch 2 and yeah, it was a little bit bigger than the Nintendo Switch OLED if I recall correctly. So this does line up with that. Now the next bullet point says expected to launch at the end of March 2020. 
25. Now this is the very interesting part because again, I always think that it's gonna be revealed in March instead. I think that's what Nintendo is gonna do. But if they're not gonna do that and it's gonna release in March of 2025, that means when is this reveal? Because we have about five months until the Nintendo Switch 2 is supposed to release according to this person who had access to the Nintendo Switch 2. One would think that that reveal would be just around the corner right now. Now the interesting thing about that is Nintendo Insider Piero changed his Twitter banner to this. Now this is straight from Google. You can in fact go on Google and find this exact image. So the 310, 923, 7 a.m. None of that has to probably do with the release date or reveal date or anything on that, more than likely anyways. But one thing Piero could end up hinting at with this image is that it's time, essentially. It's time for the reveal. Now there were a bunch of rumors about the reveal of the Nintendo Switch 2 being next week. It's Sunday right now as the time of this recording. I'm gonna be releasing this tomorrow. So does it mean that the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal is gonna be soon? I guess we'll find out by the time this releases later in the day around well, sometimes they do announce those things in the morning, but essentially sometime during the week, if you're watching this during the week, they might end up revealing the Switch 2. Um, personally, I don't think they are because I've just been burned so many times at this point. I'm just going to consider it just not happening, but it is a little weird. We know Piero is a pretty high trusted source, so I guess we'll see. Now, we actually do have some more information on the reveal as well, or at least someone who is speculating. Now, PH Brazil, who is a pretty big name right now when it comes to Nintendo Switch leaks and rumors, he's been speculating, and that's something I want to keep in mind for you. He's speculating that the reveal for the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be sometime next week. Again, this is probably going to be uploading on a Monday, so technically this week. One of the posts on Twitter by Kiri Pink Fury has a tweet under the original tweet, and it says, for the people at home, believes slash equals claims. This is speculation and not an actual leak, so keep that in mind. But anyways, continuing on to the Game Rant article. During his latest YouTube live stream, once again discussed the Switch successor and even went as far as to attempt to narrow down its reveal date. Specifically, the insider said that the console is likely to be showcased next week, so between October 28th and November 1st. Not accounting for somewhat unlikely scenario of the weekend announcement, elaborating on this time frame, he says that he plans on, or I mean, yeah, I said that right. He plans on refreshing Nintendo's Twitter feed during key hours on Monday and Tuesday. This is possibly because the company is likely to share a teaser a day ahead of the full reveal, much like it handled the Switch announcement back in October of 2018, or not 2018, 2016. Now, this video will most likely go live around 10 o'clock clock so we'll see if it ends up happening again i am still set on march for the reveal month but i hope i am completely wrong if i'm wrong and they do end up announcing it tell me and just say yeah you were wrong because i will be extremely happy i'll probably end up being at work i'm working outside tomorrow which is gonna absolutely suck so i'll probably be busy so make sure you guys let me know and that's all for today guys make sure you guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video take care